Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Big announcement, fundle special going on through May 2024. Anytime you buy a fundle, you're automatically going to receive a triple bonus, a triple bonus, plus a surprise gift. So the triple bonus is going to include an authentic um, skeleton key, and I have a collection of these, so there is a limited supply. But if you uh, order one in May, you will get one of those uh, until those that supply runs out. Um, and also, you're going to get a vintage milk topper. And here's where I started. I have more than this, but I just put, keep some out here. But they're really cool. If you remember these, these come from all over. They're all different ages, all different types. Here's one for buttermilk. And uh, they're just really cool. They're very fun. They're flat. They're easy to use in junk journals as page tabs or little places you could tuck something behind or you could put them on the covers, get down the spine. Um, so many different ways that you could use milk toppers or milk caps, um, bottle caps, if you uh, just put your imagination to it. So they are very cool and those are vintage. And um, then the third bonus item is a apothecary label so if you haven't seen these before these are very cool these are old um tincture little tinctures um uh, cure-alls some are poisons um they're um myriad of different types here um but they are very fun and very cool to use in your junk journals so you will get one of these these are all these would be randomly chosen and uh so that is the triple bonus and then you will receive a surprise gift of uh it shall be not revealed at this time but it will be included in your package you don't need a um co code or a coupon and all you need to do is buy a fundle at regular price during may of 2024 and these four items will automatically be included in your package so there you go if you want um the etsy my etsy website to the paper outpost etsy shop here you go, and you just uh, look for the word fundal and uh, click on that, and you uh, are off and rolling. So a fundal, if you don't know, is a collection of old and interesting papers such as antique ledger, checks, receipts, postcards, vintage and antique book pages, music pages, dictionary pages, uh, black and white photos, tea cards, um, defunct uh, currency. Um, there's usually an Edith Holden page in there. I have a nature section, a science section. Um, there's all sorts of different categories that I, I pull from. Uh, they're all a little bit different, obviously, because they're, um, but I do try and do s categories. So everybody gets some interesting pages uh, from that. And that has uh, free priority mail shipping it included with it as well. So there you go. All right, watch out for that. Um, so I can put these over here. Now, also, because it is May 1st, the May Digi Kits are out. So we're going to take a look at the new May DigiKit offerings, and um, we're going to show you how to make some fun stuff with these DigiKits. Right, Sonny? Is that what we're going to do? He's nowhere to be found. He's in the living room, snoring away. Um, okay, so the first one is called Pink Butterfly, and this is a really pretty one, I think. These can be used for greeting cards, for cover art, for big pockets or tucks in your junk journals. And then I gave you some uh, different sized ones. There's nine on the page. These are all different images. Okay. And um, there we go. Here's some smaller ones so that you can use for page tabs or uh, tiny decorations or embellishments, things like that. So we've got lots of pink blood butterflies to work with. I think that's a really pretty one. The next one is called Magical Owl. Okay. Magical Owl is a blue and brown uh, based. Um, set of pictures and these are all different but they all follow a theme so if you're doing a fantasy or a medieval or magical or fairy or um anything like that or a bird or uh, nature um these are beautiful and you'll be pulling from these for quite a while you've got a lot of them to work with there okay there you go that is magical owl the next one is called watercolor leaves and these I based on leaf skeletons. So 
So you're going to be able to see some leaf skeletons in here as well, mixed in with some beautiful watercolor stylized leaves. This one is actually divided into the nine pictures, or you could just use it as a whole page if you wanted to do that. This one is divided into four. This is another nine. This is another nine. These are all different. And the last one is a 16. So there's 16 images, four across, four down. In here, you can see a little better when it's close. Okay. And the next one, this one's really pretty. That obviously, uh, watercolor leaves can be used for nature, botanical, um, spring, fall. It will work for both, uh, summer as well. The next one is called Fairy of the Night. She's just absolutely lovely. And this is who you might find floating around at nighttime, in the evening, early evening. Uh, doing her fairy-like things. She has many uh, sis sistren. Is that such a word? We have brethren with like the brothers. These are my brothers, my brethren, but uh, my sistren? I don't know, but these are these are the fairies of the night. There you go. All very pretty. Um, nice stylized fantasy. Um, fantastical, magical, mystical. Uh, Medieval bit as well. And here's 16 on this one. So you're going to get all different sizes. And uh, they're very beautiful. Okay. And then we have iris flower based in blue and purple colors. And you're going to get four big ones. These are gorgeous, just gorgeous uh, iris images. And then here's, these are framed iris images on set of nine. Another different set of nine. Very functional. You can cut any of these up and use them as journal cards, journal tucks, belly bands, um, side pockets, um, journal tags, page tabs, and decoration of any sort for any embellishments. All right, there you go. So that is Iris Flower, blue purple. There you go. So those are these. Now I think the one we're going to work with. I think I'm gonna. I'm excited to work with dark or not dark fairy this is um fairy of the night oh, this, they're, they're all just so pretty i don't know which page to work with maybe maybe i'm gonna work with this big one because you can see them well how about that okay that sounds like a good idea all right so i think first of all i'm going to cut these up and this is um like i think these fairies are very uh they lend themselves to go into many different styles of junk journals um, for anybody who likes fairy creatures um, or maybe little girls or teenage girls or um, adult girls, boys. I mean, we, let's not leave out the boys. They, they like little fairies too. So there you go. Uh, all right, there we go. And I'm just going to trim off the edges with my craft knife. You could use scissors here. That's no problem. There we go. And let's just free the fairies and make some pretty little things with them. They're just so cute. And maybe I will make these standalones because I don't know what journal these are going to go in yet. And... Now with the butterfly, she, she with the pretty wings and her, see how her dress is leaves. So she could qualify for the botanical journal, and, we, and she has leaf leaf skirt in all of these. So we may actually use her in our current botanical journal, and she she could be the you know the fairy mother of the evening, taking care of all the the flora. How about that? All right, so they're pretty easy to cut apart, and you can certainly use them for so many different things, but let's see what we can use them for today. I think we have some good ideas here. Percolating. Okay, so first of all, what I would like to do with one of them is this is just beckoning to happen. Who are we kidding? Um, okay, hang on. I'm going to grab my stickles because I just feel like I really want to Glitter one of these little ladies up. And she's, they're so pretty. Always remember to retract your craft night so you don't hurt yourself or any doggies. 
or cats or anybody else walking by that doesn't want to get stabbed. Okay, so how about this lovely little lady? She's very pretty. Um, and let's see, let's, I think, oh, oh, I don't even know where to begin. I'm so excited. Yeah, here's the one I wanted. Here it is. It's called Icicle. I hope there's some left in here. I have a feeling I'm going to need my, my little, my little, my little poker stick to come out and, and, and free the, the, the stickles. Stickles is basically glitter glue. You know, I had this crazy idea, and I, I think I'm going to show it to you right now. I don't know if this is going to work, but it might. Let's just try. Um, okay, the idea was to get some micro beads. I know I'm going off, going off in the deep end here. I've got to find the micro beads. Where are they? Hold on a second. Yep, right where I left them. Thank goodness. Okay, micro beads are little tiny, teeny weeny. Oop, can't see the These are micro beads. These are copper micro beads. Okay. So you're thinking, oh my God, Pam, they're going to go everywhere. Right. Unless, unless we capture them first. Here's my idea. I'm going to get some Mod Podge. Now this is going to be scary. I haven't opened this Mod Podge in a while. Let's see what it looks like. Is it Mod Podge with mold? Not bad. It's actually still pretty good. It's amazing. Um, and it smells like Mod Podge with, with the best of them. Let me tell you. So what I thought I would do, this is kind of crazy, but I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just see what happens. It's only paper. If I ruin it, it's on me. I need a smaller, I need a smaller paintbrush. Uh, let's try, I don't know which one to try. Maybe this one, this one, or this one. And the thing is, I'm going to have to rinse my paintbrush really quickly. I have a fat one. And I have a couple of thin ones. I've got the fan, and this is actually a makeup brush I just threw in there. And then I got this little pointy round guy. What's he called? A round. So it's called a round. Round. It's got a number on him. What is it? Princeton round. Snap. It's usually a number. Uh, Ten. There it is, in case anybody was wondering. Okay, so what I thought I would do, this is kind of crazy, but I'm going to do it. Get some glue. I'm going to use a white glue because I think it's going to work better. There. And I'm going to get some beads, micro beads. I'm going to mix it in the glue. So instead of putting the beads down first and then putting the glue on top to seal it, I'm going to mix them together, feeling very bold, very bold. Okay, so and I think this area right here, they're going closer. Yeah. See that? Okay, let's just try this. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. We're just going to try. The wings, you see how they have that that coppery kind of color? I'm just going to paint with the glue and the beads and just kind of see what happens here. Just giving it a little bit of um, texture. And cop this is going to be coppery colored. Hopefully this will all dry before the end of the video so I can show you what the final looks like. And if it doesn't, I'll show you in the next video. But I'll do my best. Well, maybe I'll paint this one a little bit more just see what happens. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. We can actually get quite a bit of beadage down here. Can you see that? I think so, huh? Yeah, you can move around a little bit. If you have the pointy one, I think seems to work really well. All right, let me just... Put a few more here. Why, why are we like short? We might as well use this up, right? What are we going to do with it otherwise? It's going to end up rolling it off on my hands and it's going to go down the kitchen sink, which would probably be the worst place. Don't put it in your garbage disposal. No, I would say probably like wipe your hands off and then wash the glue up. Okay, let's try that. Get a little more glue there. Oop, I just put some micro beads back in the glue. How about that? All right, let's try this. Uh huh, uh huh. This one needs a little bit more. More, some more micro beadage. Oh, there we go. She's all dazzled up for the evening. You know, we do get dressed up to go out sometimes. And this would be an example of fairy of the evening putting on her pretty micro beaded wings. I could also put it on her little rosettes on her head. I uh, just got some more beads. I don't know if I need more or less, fewer beads. More glue, I think. More glue. Let's 
starts getting dry, I'll just slap some more glue on it, move it around a little bit, get it all soppy again. Pick some of the beadage up. There we go. And it's pretty easy to move around here. Boy, I hope the sound is working. Yeah, sorry about that. My, a thousand apologies. Yeah, I, I didn't catch it on the first one. I definitely caught it on the second one. And you lovely people gave me so many reminders. I truly appreciate that. And um, I think I didn't charge my um, mic. I think that was the problem. So I fully charged it now. Yep, dropped the ball on that baby. I think that's all it was. It's a new mic, so it should be okay. All right, just, I'm just going to put some there just for the heck of it. Now, this should all dry clear, and you should only see... The micro beats. That's what's in my mind. And we shall see how that goes. Maybe a few here where this yellow is. Just a little bit since I, I have, still have some. All right, here we go. I'm trying to pick up the rest of it. Okay. A little bit there, a little bit there. Just a little accents. Ta 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 There we go. Very nice. Hello there. Okay. All right. So. Let me go. Hope you didn't see any of that. Sorry. Um, there. That's what I did. I did that little bottom half. Okay. Hang on. I'm just going to rinse my hand. Okay. I'm back. And uh, I washed my brush and my hands and we're all good. Everything was clean. I'm now very important. Put your lid screw cap on. Okay. So these are micro beads. And I first learned about these from Heather at Thicket Works. I think she has a new name now. Uh, possibly for her channel, but I, I know her as Heather at Thicket Works, and I'm sure if you Google that or something, you'll be able to find it or look for her on, on YouTube. She's, she's an amazing artist. She's got so many really cool ideas. She's just really, really cool. And, um, okay, so I'm just going to let you guys dry. You can just stay over there because I don't want to muck you up. Okay, so you, you're really pretty. I think what I want to do with you is grab, grab, okay, yep, okay, grab my everybody's best friend yours and mine sanding block sanding spudge sanding block whatever you want to call it i am now going to rough the edges and if you don't have sanding block and what it does it just makes it a little softer let's say if you want to it's just like a different tactile feel number one and also if you want to add colors um inking things like that it's going to absorb a little bit better because it's got a, a bit of a roughed up surface on it Okay. okay. That's really, really pretty. I think I would like to make this into a journal card. I think just something very simple, something anybody can make. Oh, it's on there. That would be really cool. Okay, so here is a lovely dried leaf. And instead of putting a rubber stamp at the top, today we're going to use the rubber leaf. The rubber, it's not a rubber leaf. It's a dried leaf. Thank you, Pam. And, oh, okay. I'm going to put some Fabrifix glue, clear silicone glue. Here. It'll come out. So, oh, 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 man, I'm going right through the leaf. With that. My, my glue is not playing with me again. Yet again. I have no idea what's going on. Maybe the temperature in the house is different. Maybe my glue bottle was weird. It's, I think, all from the same glue bottle. Box. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. We're not going to use that. We are going to use, what are we going to use? We're going to use, how about our backup? That's going to be a little tricky getting the glue on here without it fracturing. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to try the thumb technique. Oh, it's not looking good, people. Not looking good. Nope. Not looking so This is so fragile. I'm really better with a, a glue that would just go on and as this is sticking to my fingers. This is not a good idea. Okay, so what we're going to do. I'm just going to put a little on the tail of that one. Try not to tear that. Oh, yeah, this little end came off. Yeah, it's n okay. We're going to do our best. There are better ways to do this than that. Okay. Oh, this is a tricky part. Get your fingers out of there. I mean, everything tapped down. There we go. Okay, so now we need some lines. We need some lines, people. What are we going to do for some lines? Now we could use a rubber stamp. Let's see. What do we got? Um, I've got a line stamp. Could use that. Let's see if I have anything else here that would 
suffice. Uh, that's kind of cool. Maybe that dragonfly. I'll bring that over. Um, I found this dragonfly stamp. And every once in a while, you come across a stamp that you really like, and uh, you're happy with it, and uh, you just decide you're going to keep that baby. It's a keeper, and this is my, my dragonfly keeper. Okay. There. Okay. All right. Okay. Maybe it's not the world's greatest stamp, but it's mine. <laughs> Maybe I'm just going to, oh, there's a little dragonfly tail. A partial dragonfly down here. I'm just going to, basically, I'm framing something here. That's what I'm doing, like a pseudo frame. Light framage. Okay, one more little dragonfly thing there. That's good. And um, now let's put some lines. And I think I'm just going to do some pen lines. Something easy. I'm going to do the dot design. Dot design. And they can be the same length. They can be different lengths. They can be staggered. And these are places for people to write extra notes. Um, I like the hand-drawn look, but you can use a ruler if you would prefer that. And uh, there, just an extra little special something for somebody to do if they would like to do that. Now, you may want to dress this up a little bit more and maybe put a little bit of black soot on there. Black soot, distress ink. Anybody can read that. I've got ink all over it. Oh, boy, I hope this uh, sound is working. I'm, I'm having faith it is. Now this is, no, I, I was going to say, I didn't turn this one over. Didn't I? That's the other one. No, this is a different one. This is so dry. Hang on. I'm going to get my water bottle squirter. A couple squirts of that. I ought to shock it back into. Oh, yeah, we were soaking wet. Okay. Boy, that's a dud. Let me get a better dauber. Here's my black dauber. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Oh, yeah, no, I got some. Got something on there. Oh, yeah. Got better, better. Mm-hmm. Yep. Vintaging this baby up a little bit. Okay. Mm, maybe need a little bit of brown to soften it, I think. Blacks and browns are really good to work with if you don't have a lot of inks. Get um, a black and a brown first, and then maybe layer in a blue, a green, and a pink. You can do whatever you want. But I mean, like, if those are some good basics to start with. And here's my brown dauber of all daubers. And this is tea dye. It's a lighter brown. Let's just see where we get with this. We get anything. This guy looks like he's right. He probably was a used pad when I bought him. Oh, yeah, I still got some. He still got some color there. And um, there's nothing wrong with buying used distress inks because you can reload them with the reinkers yourself and it's less expensive. Um, well, I mean, you got to buy the old pad and then you got to buy the new reinkers. I don't know how less expensive it is, but in the long run, long run, long run, basically just buy one ink pad and these things can be reused forever. Just keep reloading them with ink and they're pretty hard to destroy these things. I mean, yeah, they get a little ratty looking, but the function the same. So it's like you spend the money once, you know, and then you just get the re-anchor. That's the easiest way to do it. I think most economical. There we go. And you can use alternative inks, of course. Okay, you want to see how this is looking now? It's starting to dry a little bit. The um, Mod Podge is drying, and now she has these beautiful lacy beady wings, hair flowers, and uh, leaf skirt. That's looking really pretty. I'm, I'm glad you're able to, to see that. Now, I was originally going in with Let's see, we have this girl, we have that girl. Okay, let's just put our dunsies. Oh, I was gonna do something on her front, right. Okay, so what was I gonna do? Yes, this, but no, I think I'm changing my mind. I don't wanna go copper, go copper. Okay, so this time I'm gonna pull out Nouveau drops, Nouveau crystal drops, color, copper, penny. Okay, and, and these you get so much in one bottle. They're really, they are worth, like, they, I think they probably cost a little bit more than the stickles, but you get so much, you know? Okay, so now we're just going to do some generalized drawing here. 
Oh, I just hear my squirters coming on. That's good because my lawn is dry. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm going to go down, up, down, up, down, up. Oh, this is so, so pretty. Oh, okay. Like I'm, this is like beautiful fantasy drawing now. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, big reward here for doing this. All right, we'll go around here. Very nice. And you can just amplify the design. A little bit of Nouveau drops, stickles, liquid pearls, whatever the stuff you have. And uh, anything's going to look good. Yeah, I mean, it just try and find maybe a color that either matches, is like similar, or one that's extremely different. And then decide where you want to put. You can go around the basic wings. You can um, do something like that. Or you can, you can do whatever you like, actually. Um, you can give her a little necklace. Okay. And um, well, she's got a little belt thing there. We'll give her a daub there. Maybe we'll put some streaks down her dress, just random down the front openings. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, it's just so much to take in all at once. The prettiness factor of it all becomes overwhelming. I can never stop myself with these stickles. Magnify her waist. So pretty. All right, I got more. one more little wingage, wingage area here. Mm hmm So this again is Nouveau Drops. If you've never played with those, they're very fun. Did I do this way? There's no right or wrong way to do it. You just keep going in it. It almost always looks good with the with these dotty things. You just keep having fun. And um, I might ink around the outside, but I'm not going to do it right now because everyone knows exactly what's going to happen. Pam's going to stick her fingers in it and smear it. So right now we have these two lovelies. Aren't they pretty? Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. All right, put you aside, girls. Have a relaxation there. Um, okay, see so what we're going to do with you. You want to be a belly band? You could be a belly band if you want. That's all right. Or do you want to be a, maybe you want to be, maybe we'll make a, um, wait, who else do we have over here? We have you. You would be a really good, you might be a really good um, journal tag. So let us cut her up first. No, 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 nothing personal, dear. Um, we're just going to trim her top edges. Now, one way you can do this to get them even is to lightly, barely fold and barely cut some off and get it back before you know it. And now you've created the edges of your tags. Now you might say, but Pam, but Pam, you've got a white border and nothing makes sense. I know. I know nothing makes sense, but we're going to try and make it all make sense. Okay, so first of all, we're going to come around with a nice black. You seem probably close to have some black here. This is going to help blend in these white areas. You can just cut these white areas off. You don't even have to do any of this. But if you want to just keep the size nice and big as it is, but you want to mute down the edges, and we're going to maybe use a bunch of colors on this edging to really give it that mystical, rustic, vintage look. Okay. That's the fun thing about using the inks. You can, you can mix them together to enhance. So black just gives you kind of more of an outline, darkish, mysterious, spooky kind of feel. When you come in with the brown, when you come in with the brown, where's the brown? You know, I don't move people. I'm right here. Here it is. Tea dye. Um, it's going to make it look a little bit more vintage because now we're adding brown elements. So vintage, old, weathered, worn. You don't have to go over every single spot with every color either. That's kind of the neat thing about like color overlapping or color um, overlay. You can just enhancing. You can just do certain areas now. You can put that one aside, like you know what you're doing, and then grab your green. The green of the day is guess what? Field paint, because that's the one I have out right now. You know, I have like probably four or five other greens in there. Do, do I ever reach for them? No, but I will. One day, I will use other greens. And you'll be going, oh my gosh, look, what is that Pam? What is she doing? Peeled paint, distressing. Okay, so now she has some green and some blue and black. 
and white. So we're going to give her this is speed of green. Yes. I had to put little ribbons on here, little embroidery floss so I would remember because I cross pollinate so much. I forget what actual color. So now I'm just going to do certain areas. I do a lot around here. Then we're going to just do the kitty corners. Mm -hmm. And you can come into the picture. That's okay. I call it hewing. You're going to hew a corner. Okay. And we're going to hew this corner. Okay. I like to go over the picture a little bit. Okay, so now I got that. And now, I don't know, I'm feeling like maybe a little yellow. And I do have a very, here it is, right at my fingertips. Yet again, fossilized amber. A rarity that I use, but I do have it. And it's, ah, in your face yellow. Very in your face yellow. And, uh, but it's great for little accents. And you're doing something that, oh my gosh, I've been yapping away. It's a very long video. Um, uh, I need to find a specific. Use that, you? Yep. Oh, I got a little dauber. It's just for a yellow. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna enhance this yellow zone there around her. I think it's kind of maybe around this, this light she's holding. How about that? That's kind of cool. She's got some maybe like a sunny moon thing going on up here that's pretty look at that oh yeah now we're talking and she could totally handle i guess this is going to be a little bit longer of a video look at me go oh i hope the sound is working um i'm gonna cut my little my little name tag lanyard punch here a crow or something outside um okay now yeah. All right, I'm going to darken that up around there, and then I'm going to come here with, I do have, at my at my fingertips, here it is, knew it, I knew it was there, I've got some black seam binding, and I think that would be just really cool right about now. She's kind of dark and mysterious. You could also, also use blues and greens, but I knew I had black, so she's a little mysterious. I kind of like her that way. Yeah, she's a little, she's a little sassy. Yeah. Deep, she's like a deep and mysterious, in a sassy sort of way. All right. Oh, so this is the old make a loop trick. Very simple trick. You just go through here. And then open up the hole and thread your two ends through the hole. And you don't need any any fastener or anything. You don't need a staple. You can put glue or a staple if you want, but you don't really need it. And then you have a journal tag. And now you somebody can write on the back if they want. Oh, heck, since we're here, we'll just do it. I don't know. I'm just having a good time with you guys today. Hanging out, having fun. Um, let's see. All right, I'm just going to do some. Well, I've got, a, I've got a line stamp here. Why don't I do that? Something different. All right, where did you go? I had the black. <clears throat> Um, we don't have to use black if I can't find the black. All right, fine, fine. We'll use the green. I'm not going to argue with anybody. No, nope, no. Nope. So this is the peeled paint. There might be some residual black on here. Might be brown on here. We don't even know what's on there anymore. All right, should have probably put that thing under it, but I didn't. That little foam thing, but I didn't. That's okay though. It's all it all came out good. And I think I am going to go around the outside of this. Maybe with the black and maybe a little green. So now that'll just bring all the colors together. And this is one nice little piece that can go in a journal. It'll be a novelty. It'll be cute and fun. And it will get the person thinking that you gave this to, like, oh, that's cute. I wonder if I could make something like that. And they'll say, oh, I bet I could. But I would do it this way instead, and that would be fun, and that would look really cool. And you could make a whole set of these and put them in an envelope. And then they put up like a whole set of journal cards. That would be really cool. And you can kind of do like random smudging. Like it doesn't have to be all uniform or anything in the back. Where's the brown? I want to bring the brown in. Mm -hmm. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, we're going to bring in the yellow. Then we're bring in a little bit of the yellow in here and here. I do need the brown though. Okay, let's move looking back in the back. I know it's going to show. It's probably right in front of me too and I can't see it. It's like, where's Waldo here? You know, Waldo is, is here somewhere. It looks like this. Here it is. Found it. Got it. Okay, got it. All right. 
Turn it a little bit around. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. You can make them dark. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. It is. It's okay. More green. And let's bring in more yellow. That was actually fun. Let's do more of that. We're a big, big sun-like thing here and there's some reflection in mysterious water that doesn't exist down here. There we go. Now we have a back that looks like that. And we have a front fairy that looks like that. So let's just pull these babies out again. So you can see, let me see if I can show you this one up close again. It looks really cool. I wish you could see it in real life because it looks really, really pretty. So if you've never played with micro beads, you might want to try it. Mix it with some Mod Podge glue. White glue will work as well. And like Elmer's glue or something. And then here's Nouveau Drops. If you want to see that label. Nouveau Crystal Drops. I know it's kind of hard to read, sorry. Crystal Copper. Um, but just fun, easy things that you can do in a junk journal. So don't forget, we have the... Ba -ba -da -ba. Well, that was loud, sorry. Um, <laughs> we have the Fundal Special, triple bonus, plus surprise gift. Buy any fundle, May of 2024, and automatically receive an authentic skeleton key, a vintage milk bottle topper, a vintage apothecary label, and a surprise gift. And there is your website. It, uh, also, that website is in the drop-down box below if you can access that on your PC or tablet or phone. And um, there you go, folks. So I hope you had fun. Until next time, um, sunshine. They haven't heard from you in a couple days, and... and you know, the na they're, they're, they're getting a little restless. So come here, honey. We're going to have to say hello. But I've been saying hello. I don't, under I don't understand much. I've been doing my pup dates as requested. You said the piper had to be paid. So I came forth. I did my pup dates. I threw you under the bus a couple times, but nobody's going to hear it now. It's like it never happened. I did. I threw her under the bus. But then I went and got her out from under the bus because I don't want her to be under the bus. That's not my style. I would love her to leave mom under the bus for very long. Okay, I'm a little unfocused. There, okay. It's okay, hang on. Something has to happen here. Okay. Probably where disaster happened. <laughs> All right, what you got? Okay, so this is Sunshine, Cub Pup Reporter, canine reporter. Um, back in journalism school, remedial journalism school. I'm going to summer school this year, yes. They're holding me back a year because, well, I was napping, sleeping, eating, um, chasing squirrels in the Amazon guy and not doing my homework. So, but I've learned my lesson and now I'm going, just going to be doing less of those and more study. So, <coughs> hello everybody. Okay, so what's going on here is we've had two days of lousy audio. That's right. So we, we've done our darndest to make sure that this is awesome audio. So, so let us know if the audio is good. And we'd be very happy to carry on with the plan of plugging in the microphone to recharge it. Mother, can you work on that, please? Because it's really kind of like, how, how many years you've been doing this, Mom? You, you should know better, Mom. I don't know what to say. I think we're going to have to put you in summer school, Mom. Yep. Remedial art and craft classes for you, Mom. You. <laughs> I think I've just been told by the little white fluff ball. Okay, I'm going back into my zony space now. Happy crafting and sunshine out. Okay. Do we have a smudge on the camera? Or, or were you just like breathing on it? I'm not sure. Okay. So take care, everybody. Uh, happy crafting. And I will see you next time. And remember that fun is simple. Create with reckless abandon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.